Okay, this is bare bones, straight up. This is 6,000 watt, 18,000 watt surge for 20 seconds power inverter. It's also got a solar charge controller. The solar charge controller hooks up to these, right here, these beefy cables. I mean, they're, it's such a good connector. It just, whenever you're ready to install your panels, bam, connect them. It's also got, uh, Mm -hmm. 10 different battery types. All the battery types are listed directly right here. It also tells you uh, the, uh, the charge voltage that you're going to be required for that. It's got a power serve, a uh, power saver off, power saver automatic, and then turn off. So Basically, when you want it to run, no matter what, if it's got a power saver issue with uh, running light equipment, like a small laptop computer or, or something like that, you can uh, turn it directly on. Basically, this is on always. This turns off the inverter for every period of time, you know, for 30, 40 seconds. Then it turns back on, checks, turns off, turns on, turns off ever so often whenever the unit's prepared to turn on when it has a load sufficient to turn on it'll automatically turn on for instance if you wanted to use power tools and you're ready to use it and you don't want to wait you just turn it directly on if you've got a load top circumstance that'll immediately you know kick on for instance a refrigerator it'll automatically turn the refrigerator on and off as needed Let's take a look at the back here Underneath this cover, it's got a transfer switch set up. If you set this up with a transfer switch, it's got 10 millisecond transfer time. That means you got no delay. 10 milliseconds is such a short amount of time that it is, it's irrelevant. You would never even see that the power had switched. So if you want to use it for an emergency backup, you connect your 110 volt wires coming from I mean, 220 volt directly from the solar uh, the breaker panel and then you connect the power out to your load once you connected that and you connect a battery bank of 24 volts which it's, it says 24 VAC VDC my apologies once it's connected to 24 VDC this right here is going to be your battery bank negative and positive and then photovoltaic input, DC output. So you would actually connect it right here if you was going to tie in your solar panels. Now you can also tie in to batteries right here a separate bank to charge than this bank right here. You've got a, a circuit breaker for leg one, circuit breaker for leg two. Those, it's fairly simple. You got SW switch four. That is for turning on and off the generator remotely. And this is also for a display, which it already has a display in the front, but if you wanted a remote display, you, like for instance, if you wanted to hide this equipment, because it's kind of large, hide the equipment with your batteries hidden in a closet, that's, you know, you would want a vented closet if you're using lead acid batteries. If you're not using a vented, you know, situation, you want to use AGM batteries. Those will set you up for uh, a non-vented system, which is preferred by anybody using solar panels. So this thing will run a heat pump. It will run your heat pump. It'll start your compressor because it's capable of running 18,000 watt surge for 20 seconds. Then it'll run the compressor it will not run the heater strips in the heat pump, which consume 5, 10, or 15 kilowatts, which 6,000 watt inverter is not going to be able to run more than 5,000 watts, you know, continuous. You know, you run 6,000, but heat pumps itself, they always use 5, 10, or 15, or 2.5 kilowatt heaters. 
so you're gonna you know tie everything in by the instruction manual that you're gonna get with this this is an Ames power inverter it's a low frequency this is a pure sine wave and also for instance if I wanted to run something that's not a 220 volts because this outputs 220 volts but it also outputs 110 volts and it's also pure sine wave which is safe for sensitive electronics a pure sine wave is so much better than a modified sine wave or a square sine wave. I've had this thing hooked up and it works great. I mean, you can run anything off of this machine. But beware, this thing does require a large array of solar panels. If you don't have that, this is probably not what you want to start out with if you're starting out with a small system. This will run your house. This is very, very, very good system builder to build around. You can put 60 amps of solar panels directly into it. And you're going to be able to put uh, nine 120 watt panels that are 12 volt panels. Or you can put six 240 watt panels that are 24 volt panels. So I'm going to do the six 240 volt panels. It's coming up here soon. I've got three sets of that Harbor Freight junk that I got for next to nothing. I've got two 120 watt panels. Those can be in the future if you guys like it. If you don't, it's okay. I apologize if any inconvenience on the way I've displayed this for you. If you want more, tell me. Just send me a message on YouTube. Um, leave the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe and you'll see more if you, uh, you know, you like it. Thank you. This is Philip Chorn with Guns, Games, and Racing. And a little bit of everything. Thank you. Have a good day.